Well, in today's video, we're going out and finding more uh, free timber. And uh, this is really just a follow-up to some other videos I've made where I go out and get free logs. I had a friend of mine call me, and he had a family member, had some walnut trees took down, and uh, the person that took them down took the bottom cut, which was the nicest log out of the tree, but he left the tops and kind of piled them in a brush pile. And the homeowner was just going to burn them or chop them up for firewood. And uh, he showed them to me yesterday, so I'm going to go over there and uh, use my more power puller winch and pull out the nice uh, tops out of them. There's, there's a lot of nice crotch logs that are left. And this is very similar to what commercial loggers will leave behind in the forest. They'll take that bottom cut from the tree that they're hoping to get a good veneer log out of or a real high grade saw log. And they will leave the tops of these walnut logs where all the crotch wood is. And that's really more valuable than the veneer. I mean, you, you can get three to four dollars a board foot for a good walnut veneer log around here. But if you take your crotch log from the top and saw it up, and dry it, you can get up to $15 a board foot for some nice uh, crotch. I've seen up to $20 in some cases for a uh, 12 quarter. So that's what we're doing today. Just another uh, example of how I go out and get logs for free. And these have already been cut, so all the hard work's been done. I'm hoping just to ease the trailer under the brush pile and pull them right off. And another thing here, I've started making t-shirts here for the YouTube channel. This is the front of it here, OTW, which is for Out of the Woods. My niece designed these for me. Got two axes on there and a log and two little trees. And uh, these are some dry fit uh, polyester shirts. Pretty inexpensive. And on the back of them, I'm pretty much just putting some trees and the name of it, of the company here. I just had these made for advertising purposes, but if there's any interest there in, in uh, buying them, you'd like to have one, it definitely support the channel and I sure would appreciate it. Just leave me a comment below if there's an interest there and we'll start offering those for sale. Uh, I'll put up a website or something. But anyways, I also got this Patreon page going. I'll put the link up here or over here. I can't figure out this YouTube card system, how to put stuff on here. Need to do some more research on that. But anyways, take a look at that if you have time. I'm just trying to uh, get some support for the channel to buy some better cameras for this filming. Right now, I've got a Canon and my iPhone and a GoPro, and I'd love to have one of those Canon 70Ds that has the, uh, the screen that turns around that articulates so you can see what you're filming. It's pretty difficult sometimes to film and not see what's going on. But anyways, if you've got time, take a look at those and hit the like button on this video as well. Oh, I got the trailer backed in here, and uh, I think there's gonna be three decent logs in here to pull out of this pile. You see, that's the first one there. It's a decent diameter on it. Kind of crits out there to the left, and it's got a little crotch right there where it goes out. I can climb in here without falling over. As you can see, they left this one behind. There's a lot of good wood left in it. There's a shorter log on top of it, about 10 feet long, not a real big one. And uh, here's a actual a butt cut they left. This is probably, this is the biggest one out of the three. You can see it's got a little damage there. It's still about a, about a 10 footer. And I checked the base of it yesterday. It's solid at the bottom. And here's the top of it. As you can see, there's a little bit of a, there's some bad places in it. And it's got a double heart right there. Now if that double, what I mean by that, there's two pits right here, one and two. And I don't know if that runs the full length of the log or not. If it does, we'll have some awesome figure in every board. But I'll, I'll check the bottom and see. It's hard to tell where this is at. I'll have to look better when I pull it out. But, uh, here's the base of it here, and I can't see the bottom of it, but it's solid. And there's some real good color in it, too. Well, here's my setup. I got the dovetail on the trailer backed up right with the brush. And the brush is about three or four foot up in the air. That's what the timber's laying on top of, so I'm hoping I can use my winch and pull them right off that brush and get them right on the edge of the trailer here and winch them right up. We'll get those three first, then after that, see what's under, see if there's anything else left that's not limbs. That's the main focus is those three right there. So you show you guys something here that's a complete waste in my opinion. They made a cut right here and probably got an eight or 10 foot log here and 
what they could have done was leave about three or four feet and then got this nice crotch figure here this is way too short to put on the sawmill it's only about two foot long which is a shame i don't understand why they don't leave that on there there's better figure in this one piece right here than that entire log that they probably took out of here so if you're out cutting trees and you're after that highly highly figured wood it's really the best money then leave these on there now it's, now it's going to be firewood pretty much you could probably take the chainsaw mill and get some short slabs out of it It'd be a real nice piece to have had it about three or four foot long here on the end. I'm about out of breath here, but one of the real reasons I like this more power puller, one, it's made in America. It's not one of those cheap ones made in China that you see at Tractor Supply. It's heavy duty. I think it's around $300. This is a three ton unit right here. And uh, the mechanism is really safe. I mean, this right here is a synthetic rope. It's got a name, I'm not sure of it. But if it was to break at all, there's no power or energy stored in it. With the cable, you gotta worry about it breaking and uh, whipping back and slapping you in the face and possibly killing you. This rope here, if it breaks, there's no energy in it, so it just falls. And something else is the release mechanism. And we've all handled those cheap ones for tractor supply in the hardware stores, and you gotta beat them with a hammer to release them. Now with this one right here, that's not the case. Anyways, you simply push the handle down and it releases the energy. That's all there is to it. And the rope and the rope pulls right off. This ain't no paid endorsement either for more power puller, but if you're all watching, I sure could use two of these. Check out the size of this beech tree here. This is American beech. I'll back up to get a better view of it. Just a massive beech tree here. <laughs> 